Hello YouTube world, and I'm back with my brother. Hi guys. For another video, just showing our haul for, or silver haul for June, which was last month. All the silver stuff we got last month. And so what have we got here today, our first pieces? Uh, we've got a couple of PA4 uh, silver 925 or sterling silver coins. Yeah. Uh, our one pound coin that we use in the UK. Right. Which you is normally look... made of base metal. That's right. If you guys look on the left hand side, if you're from the UK, the coin on the left hand side, I'm sure you would have would have used one in a shop or when you're doing your shopping. Usually it kind of, it's made out of cupro and nickel and painted a sort of dull nine carat gold sort of colour. But that's we're used to seeing that with a sort of uh, Welsh dragon on it. And the other one is? The other one's a 94 two pound coin, but it's not uh, like a coin that would have been in currency, it's a commemorative coin. That's right, tricentenary. Yeah, that's right. And so, before we, you guys ask, what's, a, what's, what's PA for? It's double the thickness or slightly thicker than the original version. Right. Something to do with the history of French, French kings or something used to give them out, I believe, or receive them. I think they used to receive them, yeah. Yeah. So so basically a regular coin, but they were twice as thick. Yeah. And in those days, coins were made of precious metal, so it's quite a nice sort of gift from the mint yeah. or whoever was making your coins. What we're going to do, guys, we're going to zoom in on these just to show you sort of the thickness of them so you guys can sort of understand if you haven't seen a PA4 before, you know how they work. And I was having a, a chat with um, Long John Silver, one of our subscribers, and he was sort of giving me some good advice on the sort of more numismatic stuff. So Long John, if you're, if you're watching, any, any help on the yeah. advice <laughs> needs to be helpful. So we'll just be back in a second and show you guys the sort of sides of the coins and around them. Okay, this is the one pound coin, the PA4 one pound coin. And this is, how many grams is this one? This is 19 grams sterling silver. So. 19 grams sterling silver, so 92.5% pure silver. In there. And this is a regular Wales dragon on the front of that coin. And here wow. we go, guys, that's, that's the PA4. You can see how thick it is. It's double the thickness of a regular pound coin. Yep. Which is really nice, very really nice and chunky. Very really nice, chunky sort of coin. And that's the back with the queen on it. IRB, Ian Rank by, Broadly. By Ian Rank Broadly on the back. That's, I think they're really pretty cool, you know? Yeah. I think there's something interesting. There's, there's something I might get into. A few numismatic pieces, just because I, I do enjoy it. Yeah. So, I might sort of get, get into that sort of coin. Sorry, I'm knocking the camera there, guys. And now let's just jump out and show you guys a £2 coin. Okay, guys, here's a £2 coin. And this is, it's not actually in circulation, this coin. We don't actually have this, because this is a tricentenary of the Bank of England. So 1694 to 1994. It's so shiny, you can see the camera in the background. It is, it's literally a mirror. I don't know how, sort of, what values these coins have. I think they're both of them were 10,000 each. Both of them, they've made 10,000. The mintage. The mintage, that's right. So I've got to yeah. get the right words. <laughs> and there's some uh, Latin going down the side. I'll have to uh, ask Boris Johnson what that means. Yeah, he'll, he'll tell us. Say. See him riding around, around London all the time with his helmet. You know, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop there. And that's the back back end with the queen again so they're lovely coins really thick and we got them for a round spot so that was really that was really good and okay so guys we'll jump out and show you guys the next one all right guys this is the next one we've got here which is quite rare I actually got it for scrap didn't we yeah it's uh i, th I think it's a quite a, it was got a bit of collector's value to it, i suppose i think it comes with a case and yeah, see away, but certificate. Yeah, we didn't get any of that. It was just basically the, the, the sort of round by itself. Five ounces. It is five ounces of fine silver. Fine silver. So it's quite thick. And it's from 1987. 1987. So it's got some age to it. You know? So the side. There we go. It's just... It looks pretty rough. Because it does. it's in a plastic case, but the metal underneath is perfectly uh, fine and shiny. Perfectly serviceable. Perfectly serviceable. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I think you have to actually break it. This is not a case that screws off. It has to be broken to be taken out. Right. That's it. Look at the back. Here we go. So it says Republic of Singapore, 1987. Some Oriental writing. I won't pretend to understand what it says. Maybe there's someone... Uh, yep. Any watching? any of you guys out there who, who know what that might say or what this coin actually is, give us some advice. That would be great. But again, we picked it up for scrap, so it's five ounces. So that was well worth it. All right, guys, we're going to jump in and show you our next one. Okay, this one is a Bank de France bicentenary. And again, how much would you pay for these? these? You got two of them. I got two for sixteen pounds, identical they were, which is pretty good value, guys. I mean, I, again, guys, don't know the rarity at all. So I not... do believe it does say it on the on the paper somewhere where yeah. it's got to. And these are nine fifty. Nine fifty argent, quite... which is French for silver. 
quite rare, isn't it? It's ninety five percent. Yeah, ninety five percent silver. I'm not sure who these guys are in the back. No, maybe idea. someone knows. That'd be very cool. But yeah, I mean, for the price of six or eight, eight, eight pound each, do you know what, what are the weight of them? I don't remember the weight of them. Uh, I'm not too sure what the weight is either. Probably about thirty grams. I can tell you the weight at the end of the video. I'll find out. All right, know. guys. Right, that's that's one and one. Let's show you another another bank one coming up. Okay, you guys, this is the next one. This is Deutsche Bank. You guys probably recognise that logo. There's been a lot of talk of manipulation. They got fined with HSBC, and that's a little logo there. And this is sort of from a coin show, I believe. And it's Rome 2013. You can see there on the side it says uh, LBMA and LPPM. The LBMA is obviously the London Bullion Market Association, and the LPPM is the London Palladium, Platinum and Palladium Market. And it's a precious metal conference round. It's a one ounce silver round. It says there is it nine 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 or it is yeah. In the bottom it says one ounce AG nine nine nine. Huh. It's a little cool. one ounce round. So I picked that up. Um, it was a decent price. I think it was a little bit above spot because it was a. Uh, I like the bank stuff, so I was spend a little bit more if I have to. All right, guys. Let's let's bring us the next one. Okay, guys. This is a Deguza one ounce fine silver. The Guza is stands for the D is German, the G is gold, U is Unt, and the S is silver. I can't, I don't know what it's in German, but it is silver. So basically, German gold and silver. I think they're owned by Ivonik now. All oh, right. So it's sort of like a chemical company. They sponsor who, someone's football shirt, don't they? I, I can't remember if it's Dortmund or they sponsor one of the one big football yeah, teams, I've seen Champions that League team, fighting against yeah, someone. That's it. So I'm just going to flip it over, guys, show you guys the other side. All right, guys, this is the other side. So it's uh, München Olympia Park, which is the Munich Olympic Park. <laughs> I like your accent. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm professional at German. I'm absolutely professional. <laughs> Most languages. That's an absolute <laughs> lie. Terrible. But, yeah, this is a, that's the Munich Olympic Park on the back on the back end of it there. And uh, it was quite tragic, actually, when, with the with the Olympics in the 70s. It was a, the Israeli team got um, kidnapped and there was a lot, of, a lot of them got killed. But this is sort of... It's kind of an art bar, I suppose. Okay, yeah, because uh, from the front it just looks like a plain Deguza bar. bar. And and it comes in a little box. With velvet on it. Yeah, not really, not really sure why. Yeah. There you go. Again, if you're getting it under spot, guys, why not? Why not? All right, guys, we're going to come up with the next pieces. Okay, guys, this is the two bars we picked up. It's two kilogram bars. You've probably seen similar ones in the videos, in one of the last videos we did. So the one on the right is a Chiesso. So yeah. we picked up another Argo Chiesso and another Swiss bank, which is a, some reason for such rare bars. It seems to be picking up quite a few of them. Yeah. The one on the left, the Swiss banks, it's different. It's got a serial number at the top, the logos at the top of the bar as well. And it's got two different stamps. I'm not sure that might be metal or in the middle. It might be, but I mean, don't quote me on that. And it's got another different stamp at, at the bottom as well. So I'm not sure. Uh, again, it's all in French and because I'm so terrible, I don't understand what it is. But yeah, these are again two that kilogram one's bars. Pretty much identical to the other, except the serial number. Yeah, it's nice I've got serial numbers, I suppose. Yeah. I know they're bullying, but it's nice to have serial numbers. Yeah. All right, guys, that that's basically our silver pickups for this month. So we'll just come out and have a look, a quick chat. Hey, if it's one minute. All right, guys, we're just having a chat again today um, about sort of the finances, and basically we believe there's sort of a, there's a storm brewing. There is. There I really mean, is. however, yeah. however you uh, cut it, it's not a good situation. Yeah. You know, some people will try and, especially I find that the recently, especially with the Greek thing, there's been a bit more panic in the mainstream media. But yeah. for the most part, they don't really say how much it can affect all of us. Yeah. There seems to be a lot of talk of, well, poor Greece. That's right. You know, we're I think right. we've one got of the, the backstops. Yeah. One of the one of the most uh, powerful people in our economy. Said it himself, George Osborne. Yeah. Said you cannot. Uh, I don't. I can't quote him word for word, but you can't underestimate. Yeah. The damage Greece leaving the euro could do to the UK. That's it. Mark Carney said the same thing. He, Mark Carney, is the um, the head of the Bank of England. Yeah. And he said that look, it's, what's happened to Greece is definitely going to have a knock on in the UK. And America, I mean, America seem as if they're far away. The currency seems strong at the moment. Yeah. But I mean, if anyone who collects silver or who's, who's into precious metals generally understands that yeah. it is a massive quantitative easing that's really sort of made their currency appear stronger because they've piled money into the stock market so the stock market's gone high but yeah. guys China 
yeah. China, 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 China. That is, I think, is a storm in in the making. It really is. On the la- over the last week, China's stock market has wiped off two hundred trillion. Sorry, not two hundred, two trillion. <laughs> two hundred trillion. trillion. That would be the end of everything. That's yeah, it. I won't be able to get a pint of milk, but. Two trillion has been wiped off the if Chinese you, market. If you put that in in some type of perspective, you could pay Greece's debt off many times, several over. times. I mean, there's analysts saying that what's happened. I mean, China's tried to sort of contain it as much as they can, but analysts are saying this slide is going into next week. I mean, China's been quite not open, but they've you know fair play them for coming out and saying, "Hey, look, we can't control." They've this. been quite clear about the fact that it's a bit. It's really dropped down and looking at manipulation to try and figure out what's actually happening and openly. And open the year. So, I mean, the market, two trillion has been wiped off the Chinese stock market. And I mean, that, it ended Friday and it, it's a good thing it ended Friday, basically, when it stopped, yeah. you know, the trading. And, but the analysts are saying it's carrying on into next week. I don't think we can stress to people enough. And for people not in the finance industry, uh, I mean, I spoke to someone who's like, oh, no, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a window cleaner. I just, I'm not bothered about all that finance. You lot got yourself in a mess, you can get yourselves out. Yeah. Well, the thing about that is, I know it's, Bad to say, but you're going to be involved as well, even if you don't yeah, have anything is. in the finance industry. Well, never the Greek people in their banks. Yeah, you have to never forget what happened in 2008. Reckless gambling was occurring. Yeah, and um, when the bets went south, your regular Joe got his kneecaps broken. Basically, yeah. the bailiffs came and broke regular Joe taxpayers' kneecaps. Yeah, so your financial kneecaps. And the were guy shattered. who wrapped up the burden. Yep, got a lovely golden parachute. Yeah, fantastic. I'm not going to let it go about Sir Fred Goodwood. I won't. I'm not. I'm not letting it go. But yeah. <laughs> guys, there's there's something happening. That, that we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. That's right. It, it could be yes. It could be no. Whatever happens, I think the European it has been damaged by this whole situation. Whatever happens, yes and or no. These markets do rely on confidence. They do. When they get shaky, mm. if everyone starts pulling their money out, like in 2008, I mean, look, companies like Lehman Brothers it was a run on their bank. Everyone, they I mean. At one point, you're looking, you think, all right, shares are 40. I think, I'll, I think should I pull out now? I'll leave them. And it ended up at four, and then went down to $2. And then and bankruptcy. Then bankruptcy. So mm. most of those people were probably thinking, I wish I'd taken a hit and taken $40. Yeah. Sort of strange as well. Dick Fold, their, their CEO. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure why he kept holding out when yeah, he was giving offers. I just don't think he could have ever imagined it would have been such a run. No. Yeah. I mean, he's weathered quite a few storms in this time. So. That's true. He just probably thought it was another one. But guys, there's China. Yeah. Have a look at that, guys. Check out what what do you think's happening with the Chinese market. I don't think it won't affect us in the UK and and the, and the US, us yeah. Western countries. We think we're cushy. It, yeah. It's it's going to affect us whether we like it or not. That's it. So you've got to be prepared. And whatever you do, if you're if you've got stocks and shares, you probably already know what's going on. Yeah. You're making contingency for that. Yeah. Uh, and for those of you who are not, but are thinking, how do I protect my money? Because I don't want to end up with £20 a week able yeah. to stake at my bank look at other ways of storing your money make sure you have physical assets and insurance mm-hmm. silver and gold are fantastic especially silver it's price at the moment yeah. get things like that you know things like your houses if, you're, if you've got a mortgage free house you've paid off your mortgage things like that are going to probably help you in the long run That's but it. make sure you've got liquid asset as well because having a roof over your head and no money yeah. is still going to be a problem That's it guys so you know Keep an eye, like I was saying, keep an eye on Greece. Remember, it's sort of a, a bit of a pile up here. You've got the Greece situation, then you've got the Chinese situation at the same time. You've got Puerto Rico. Yeah. And it's all sort of, it all seems to be building up to a sort of situation. Dire situation. Yeah, it all seems to be building up. Hey, listen, it might blow over. It might completely blow over. At some point, but at we're some point, have to it has pay to happen. for the debt we've racked up. Yeah. Whatever the case is, at some point, that debt must be paid. Yeah. And it's huge. It is. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Love Again, love reading you guys' comments. It's, it's very interesting. You guys are, like I say, smart guys out there. Yeah, a lot helpful. of, uh, lot of good helpful. information. Very helpful when it comes to that, the coins and bars and stuff and giving information. And it really is nice just to share chatting with people who are like-minded. There's a few finance guys on there as a well. A few financial guys as well. So, hope you enjoyed, guys, and we'll speak to you guys soon. See you later, guys. Cheers.